Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Jesse Belknap. We are personal and professional consultants. And we want to talk to you today about how to get your employees to be more effective. If you walk into any business today, you're going to see a couple people that are excelling at what they do. They seem to get so much done in such a short amount of time. They are doing extra projects. And then we see the rest of everybody. And they're, they're all together just doing enough to get by. They are what we would consider average. They make sure that they're on time and they make sure they get their work done, but they're not excelling in big ways anymore. What's sad is that society has decided that that's okay, that it's okay to be average. But being average has a negative impact in your life. When you feel average and you're just doing enough to get by, you go home and you're sad and you're frustrated, you're tired, you have no desire to do other things. It carries over into relationships, into finance, into health. Being average is not a good way to live. And if you're a business owner, you don't want average employees. You want the majority, if not all of your employees, to be successful, to be making big leaps, and to be getting so much more done within the time span that they're with you. If you're a business owner, you want the majority of your employees making these big leaps and to be more effective, and so you send everybody to training with the idea that they're going to know more, so they'll be doing more. But I'd ask you today to look around at your employees. Are they doing what you want them to do? Are they closing the deals? Are they dealing with all the negative uh, comments that are coming to them? Are they making the sale? Are they, are they selling more than what they had anticipated selling? If that's not the case, then there's a gap between the traditional trainings that you're having them go to and then what they're doing for you in the workplace. So we want to tell you the secret with how to get your employees to be more effective. And we know this secret firsthand by firsthand experience because we both have been in jobs where we haven't been as productive as we'd like to be. You know, I've had, I've had jobs like that and I've had jobs where they send us for training where there's things that we have to be certified to do and then there's other things that they just want us to know and companies spend a lot of money doing that. They really feel that it's an investment in their employees to, to send them to learn and to send them to be more productive. Um, I find that when I'm doing something that I love, something that I enjoy, that I am very productive. When I have projects at home that I really want to do, I can get things done. But when I have you know, a honey-do list that isn't necessarily something I want to do, mm. I'm not as productive. I may not get it done in a timely fashion or in a, in a time that is desired that I get it done. Yes, desired. Yes. But I, I say that because I, I worked for a company that um, when I first started, I really wanted to show them that I knew what I was doing. I wanted to make my mark and show them that I could be productive and that I was a good choice uh, for a hire. And so for the first couple months, I would go in and I worked really hard at getting everything done that I needed to, at learning what I needed to, and I did well. But slowly, I fell into that company's culture. And every company has its own culture. There's certain things that they do. There's certain things that the people like to do. And at this company, the culture was to come in in the morning and uh, chit-chat. And so the guys would come in, and they were supposed to, you know, get the stuff on their trucks, and then they would get their stu their guys out in the field, and so they could be working early. But some of them would do that, and some of the guys would go out. But you would have a lot that would still stick around, and we would talk until eight o'clock. So we'd spend the first two hours of the day just talking, accomplishing nothing. And around eight o'clock is when the rest of the businesses start to open. And so we'd have vendors calling, um, you know, telling us problems with materials for the day. We'd have engineers calling saying, here's some things that you guys need to look at. And so my entire day ended up being spent trying to solve problems that were happening that day. I never got done what I needed to that morning. And so when I left work, I took it home with me. I took the stress home with me. I took the frustration home with me. I took the assignments home with me. I take the emails home and I would go home and I wouldn't get to spend time with my family because I was focused and worried about my work the next day. 
what I was going to have to get done the next day. And so it started to have a very detrimental impact on my personal life. And as that stress continues to build, you know, pretty soon you're not sleeping well and you're not sleeping enough. And yeah. then your health starts to fail. And so it's just, it keeps rolling over into more and more problems. And so one day I sat down and I tried to figure out what it was that was causing all these problems. And I realized that it was the culture that I had slid into at that business. And so I made a decision to change what I was doing. I decided that in the morning I would come in and I would, I would block myself off the time and I would have to ignore people and you know not everybody agreed with that. But I would, have, I would come in and I would spend the first two hours of the day getting every, all the important things done that I had planned. And then by the time the rest of the business is open, I, has, I was free to deal with those problems. But this, the trick for me was that I had to f identify that bad habit, and to break it, I had to replace it with a new one. And that's the secret. The secret is it's not about just learning more and knowing that you should be more productive. It's about changing the habit from a negative uh, situation where you aren't being productive and you're playing around on Facebook and you're scrolling through or looking at Pinterest and talking on the phone to making the calls, going out and getting skin to skin with somebody, talking, being part of life instead of being in that unproductive state. We know how to change those bad habits from personal experience to our coaching programs that we've become certified in. We have a wide variety of resources that we can use to help you and your employees to become more effective. When, when we talk to people about becoming more efficient, one of the things that I hear a lot is, I've been this way for 20 years. This is just how I am. This is just how we do things here. But I have a research background and I know that the brain is continuing to grow and to develop new cells and to develop no more neural pathways. And we know that you can change if you have a desire and you, have, you see the value in the change. And we help, through our coaching programs, we help build that desire. We help showing the value and showing people that it is better to become more productive. Because when you're more productive, you are lighter, you're more driven, you're more excited, you are searching for newer, bigger, better goals, and that's good for your business. Because let's be honest, if everybody's more effective, that's going to affect your bottom line. One of the best things that I love about Jeremy and I is we never look at people and see where they currently are. When you look at somebody and see where they currently are, there's no growth. We look at people's potential. We look at where they could be and where they should be. And that's what we help them to achieve. There is a science to getting what you want, and we'll show you how to get it.